And let's go ahead and check in with meteorologist Bill Grawl and uh, see what the week, ha week ahead has in store for us, Bill. Well, it's going to uh, start cool, but uh, temperatures are trending warmer later in the week and into the uh, upcoming weekend. You'll see that on the eight-day forecast in just a moment. Speaking of warmer, in fact, much warmer and drier than average, probably not a surprise, but that was the uh, statistics out of the La Crosse Airport by almost six degrees in terms of that average temperature, making it the fifth warmest October on record and the warmest October since 1963 here in the city. Uh, rainfall only 1.05 inches, so almost an inch and a half below average. Uh, driest October in La Crosse since 2006. No snowfall, and believe it or not, we average a couple tenths of an inch of snow during the uh, month of October, and it's the first time we saw a snowless October at the airport since 2016. Uh, currently, skies are cloudy, and our temperature today uh, topped out at 46 degrees, so 8 degrees below average. 80 and 15 are the records. No rain or snow here in the cross, although some of you uh, in our northern and eastern communities are seeing some sprinkles and flurries uh, late this afternoon and early this evening. 42 degrees, winds out of the west, northwest at about uh, 10 miles per hour. And yep, that's causing a wind chill of 36 degrees. It's that time of year where we'll start having to use those uh, wind chill graphics, unfortunately. We're not alone. Look at all the 30s and 40s from the front range of the Rockies through the Plain States and into the upper Midwest. 42 in the cross, 39 in Eau Claire and Sparta, also 39 in Decorah, 38 in Viroqua. And again, when you factor in those breezes coming from the northwest, 5 to 15, there's those wind chills, 36 in Winona, 33 in Eau Claire, feels like 34 in Black River Falls, and 29 for wind chill over in in Preston. Again, some light radar returns. Not all of this is reaching the ground, but maybe some sprinkles or flurries uh, kind of right along uh, Highway 12 here south of Eau Claire and kind of tracking to the north and east of La Crosse. Those will quickly fizzle once the sun sets. In fact, a lot of these clouds will die out uh, once the sun sets as well with clearing skies overnight. Sky Tracker shows that nicely and with those clearing skies and a little bit lighter winds overnight, it's going to set the stage for a rather cold night. Tomorrow, much like today, we'll uh, start the day sunny and then cloud cover at times during the afternoon. It's kind of that time of year when we have cold air aloft. You'll get the sunshine in the morning and then some clouds increasing during the afternoon. Similar conditions expected for Wednesday. Now temperatures tomorrow, another cool day. Uh, mid 40s in La Crosse County, including in right about 45 in La Crosse. Lower to middle 40s down to the south. In fact, most spots will be in the lower to middle 40s. Also uh, north and east of La Crosse, some low 40s though over towards Sparta and Norwalk. Uh, right around 43 for a high in Eau Claire and Fall Creek. So for tonight, decreasing clouds uh, oh, gradually. Uh, rather chilly, 28 for the low. We could see some teens in those traditional colder spots of the north and east. 45 tomorrow, sunshine in the morning, cloudy periods in the afternoon. Same for Wednesday with highs in the 40s through Thursday overnight lows in the 20s, but look at the uh, warmer temperatures being advertised. Breezy, uh, mainly south winds Friday and Saturday. That's what's going to help warm us back into the 50s, and we could even flirt with 60 by the start of next week. And uh, by the way, Saturday night into Sunday morning, don't forget daylight saving time comes to an end. Fall back one hour. Yeah, not bad. 60s in the uh, middle of yeah. November. Yeah, this is kind of a newer trend that yeah. we're starting to see some uh, nice little warm up. Uh, warm up uh, being advertised in those models uh, over the next several days. So. All right. Thanks, Bill. Yeah.